This is showing a short video detailing my efforts for a water vortex generator. It's a vortex tube, Hiltzschrank, if that's how you pronounce it, vortex generator tube made out of PVC pipe and PVC fittings. Um, these are all the pieces that you need. There's a three quarter inch piece of pipe. There's a one inch T. with a three-quarter inch hose barb fitting that threads in. You need two three-quarter inch couplings to slide in the one inch T. Mine for some reason only go in one way. You'll need some uh, end threaded end couplings. So this is a one inch, excuse me, a three quarter inch end coupling to a three quarter inch hose barb. And the same over on this end. Same kind of deal. Now this one is a little bit different. You'll have to, I don't know if you can see it. It's the same thing as what these were, but but I had to grind the bumps off. So, oops. So take a file or sanding disc or something to to grind the bumps off so that it will fit inside a one one inch cup, coupling. Here's the one inch coupling that you need. And the last little bits are this special gizmo. This is a. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well. But it's a, a, a three quarter. Um, three quarter plug, threaded plug, and it'll, it'll fit inside this this um, threaded coupling and what it has on the inside of it is uh, it has a smaller plug that I melted plastic over the top of it and made it into a cone and this cone will sit inside this coupling and uh, and you can adjust the the depth of it by screwing it in farther or by adjusting the bolt, we'll adjust the space here on how much water you can let through. Anyway, it's kind of tight in there, so maybe it's too tight. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't run it yet. We'll, we'll experiment and we'll see how it works. Anyway, that goes like that. The one inch coupling goes over the top. Um here whoops. Um where to go? Yeah. Oh, that doesn't fit too good. Yeah. So Basically, really, with this one-inch coupling, all it's doing is just keeping keeping the water from getting away, so that you can take it and put it back through again later. And so this is going to be the hot end, and it'll fit onto the end of the pipe, not that end. And it'll fit on the end of the pipe, kind of like like so. And uh, that'll be the hot end. Now for the for the T, the way this works is this pipe. I don't know if you can see very well, but it has um, it has some holes drilled in the very end of it. 
and these holes are drilled at an angle. Show you here with the drill bit. And maybe it'd be easier to see this way. These uh, these holes are drilled at an angle. So that it, when the water uh, enters these holes, they want to, to circulate in a, a vortex fashion. And each of these holes are drilled at an angle like that. And I don't know, there's six or eight holes there. I really didn't count, don't really, don't really care right now. If it works, we'll figure out what's better later. But what that needs to do is it needs to go inside these three-quarter couplings, and, and I forgot to mention about these couplings. These couplings need to have the inside ridge filed off so that the this three-quarter pipe can fit all the way through. What I used to do that was I used this rotary rotary file. Can't see it. Yeah, hold on. I uh, put it into a drill and then drilled and filed until there's no more ridge. So that's what you need to do with these three quarter couplings so that you can have the pipe go all the way through. And it's going to go into uh, into this last this last fitting, but not very far, just a little ways, just enough to center it and and keep it uh, situated. You don't want it go to go very far, otherwise these holes will be blocked. So just a little ways. Um, then the last little piece that that I need to discuss is this little this little disc. Very very difficult to see, but it's a it's a it's a really thin piece of plastic. I just used a hole saw um, and a drill, and I didn't make any special measurements other than I think it fits inside here because my hole saw did. Anyway, it fits on on top of that. I don't know. You can't see it very well, but there it is. And that covers the the hot pipe and makes a diaphragm so that the cold section can come out here. So this will be the cold section, and it'll have another three quarter pipe coming out. Uh, to be the cold section. Anyway, glue it all up or give it a good uh, assembly here and we'll take a look at it when we're done. Well, here it is, all glued together. All ready to go test. There's the cold side. That's pretty long, I realize that. But we'll see what happens when I test it and I can cut it shorter. There's the hot side with a hot uh, cone installed. So it's all ready to go test.